Hello folks, welcome back. It is Kyle and it has been a long time since I have uploaded a video and I apologize for that. We're gonna get right into it. I'll do it. I will do another video uh, in a few days here to explain everything, but we have a bunch of updates for you. First one being, this is now being recorded on the new iPhone 16 Pro Max. So if you notice anything different, yay. If you don't, yay. It's all good. More importantly for some of you, today I got the second update in two weeks for my Tesla. We are currently using full self-driving version 12.5.4 or whatever the most current version is. This is also the version that for the first time ever gives me actual smart summon and dumb summon, um, which is phenomenal. So we are hands free at the moment. <clears throat> One of the upgrades that came with this is the ability to wear sunglasses while you are driving hands free and not get that nag. Uh, up until then, you could not wear sunglasses. You could still go hands free, but no sunglasses. Uh, as a reminder, I came off of 12.4.3. We got an upgrade or an update pushed to our phone while I was on my trip. Uh, that took us to 12.5.2.1 or 1.2 or something weird like that. Uh, I could not install that while I was on vacation because my car was not connected to Wi-Fi. So I installed that Sunday. Uh, today is Tuesday. So I got to use that update for basically four trips total. Uh, did not get to use it very much, uh, but I did use it this morning on the way to work. And then once I got to work, I saw that this update was ready for me. So I installed this update while I was at work. Pretty cool that your car can get an update and get you new features, even though they're features you paid for a long time ago, but get you new features while you're sitting at work. But yeah, so this is 12.5.4. I think that's what it is. It'll be in the title. It's whatever the title says it is um, on its full self-driving. So I will note that currently the speed limit is listed as 45 miles an hour and it is only going 39 miles an hour. So that going under the speed limit is still an issue. But we'll see how we do. Well, that is already a huge improvement. Uh, it is way more assertive at these four-way stops. That is nice, because before it would almost wait and wait and wait, and so it was kind of like, uh, is it going to go? Does it realize it's our turn or not? And then it'll eventually go, but by the time it's ready to go, the other people are tired of waiting and are unsure of what you're doing. So they start to go as well. So it kind of causes some confusion and some embarrassing moments sometimes. So I normally end up having to just lightly press the accelerator. Did not have to do that this time. While that's going, I am going to take this to a parking lot. Um, it's not a huge parking lot, but it is a parking lot to test out the actual smart summons. And when I do that, I'm also going to attempt a new recording style so I can record the inside of my car. You can see my steering wheel, my uh, screen, and hopefully you can see the outside as well. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And then I also want to do a screen record. Oh, that was nice too. It sometimes struggles at that four-way stop there, the flashing red light. And then the flashing red light up here gives it an even bigger issue because the way that the light is set up and the angle that you come to the intersection where the light is, it sees both sides. It's got one fixture that's flashing red for all, all the sides from one fixture. 
Um, so sometimes it sees the cross traffic red light and it reads that as a red light for us as well. So it sees that it's just a red light that's flashing two times for us and it looks like it's a stop and a complete stop. But it handled that perfectly fine and went through no problems whatsoever. That's a huge improvement already. The acceleration out of there is pretty darn good as well. AM speed limit's 45. It is going 45 right now also. So, so far, I know we've only been driving for like five minutes, um, but so far it is already a vast improvement over 12.4.3, which I had for quite some time. And, oh, so again, this is my first day back to work after our trip. And so I haven't been down this road in about two weeks. And this little barn off on the right looks like it had a fire and that is not good. Or maybe they just decided to tear it down. But yeah, that's kind of weird to see. <coughs> but, so yeah. So when I get to the parking lot, I'm gonna try to record. Um, I want to do a screen record so you can see what the actual Smart Summon um, screen looks like on the iPhone. I have not used it at all, ever. Never once played with this, so you'll be learning with me there. Um, I want to record what it, what I'm seeing from the outside, um, where I'm at watching the car and all that stuff. And I want to try and record inside the car as well. That way, you know, you can actually see uh, that there's nobody in here doing the driving and see how the steering wheel reacts and what the screen looks like and all that stuff. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that or not. You'll be able to see. Um, you'll be able to see before I can. It beeped at me. I don't know why it beeped at me. It didn't show anything and it didn't give me anything on the screen. So maybe it was, maybe it saw something I didn't see. It wasn't beeping at me for not paying attention. Uh, it'll tell you when you're not paying attention. But yeah. So this might be a longer video. Um, we'll see how it goes. But yeah. And then uh, consider this basically a Tesla update video. And again, um, there are a lot of updates I need to get to you from my side uh, and go over the trip and all that stuff. I got a crap ton of pictures for the trip, but we're gonna save that for another video because I have a feeling a bunch of people watching this don't care so much about that stuff and they care more about uh, the Tesla full self-driving and especially the actual smart summon uh, and I do want to point out that this is a 2023 Model 3, the base base model, the rear-wheel drive, um, and it is using Hardware 3. And today is Tuesday, September 24th, 2024. Um, so those of you who are thinking um, actual Smart Summon is only going to be on Hardware 4 vehicles, uh, right now it's looking like it's on hardware three vehicles as well. We will see how well it works. Uh, and uh, hopefully there are improvements down the road if it's not that good, but it's better than nothing. One of the issues I was having on 12.4.3 is on this road, um, in particular when you are cresting a hill, it would like to do randomly, it would randomly slow down, kind of like what it used to do with the Phantom braking um, a while back, but not not as hard as the brake as the Phantom braking was. Um, you can see it's raining here, so hopefully the windshield wiper kicks on shortly. Yep, there it goes. But um, so that has that seems to have gone away entirely as well. Um, speed limit through that entire part was pretty darn good. Um, no complaints there. Speed limit dropped down to 30. You saw that. We are going currently 32 miles an hour, which I think is acceptable. Should be making a right hand turn here at the stop sign.
man. Yeah, way better. It feels way more natural. Um, before, it would kind of do its NHTSA approved stop where it stops where it's supposed to stop and it stops completely. And then it'll creep forward and it'll keep creeping forward in little increments, kind of jerky like until it gets to where it thinks it's good to go. Then there'll be a slight hesitation and then it'll go. Uh, this time it was pretty much after it did the NHTSA stop, it creeped up, but it did so in a smooth manner that once it saw that it was good to go, it just allowed it to keep on doing that little creep and turn the creep into a smooth acceleration to go. Um, and that it normally slows down quite a bit to take the turn it just did as well. And that was even a lot smoother as well. It was still slow. It gets down to about nine miles an hour for that. Um, the braking at the stop signs is a little heavy footed for me, but it's not unbearable by any means. It's just not what I'm used to. Still definitely prefer it over what I had before. All right, so I'm gonna park, I am home. I'm gonna park, uh, grab some stuff to try and record this, and then I will return. All right, thank you.